Hi, so we just talked about two different definitions of NP. So what I want to do is do two examples to show that two languages are in NP. So the first one is clique, and that's all the pairs graphs with paired with integers, and such that the graph is uh, has a K clique in it. So remember, a K clique is a set of K vertices that have all the edges between those K vertices present. And this other one is shorted for subset sum, which is useful for a lot of uh, numerical type applications. And what it is is a pairing of in a set of integers with another integer, t. So the s here is just a set of integers. It doesn't matter how many there are. And the question we're asking is, is there a subset of that set s that adds up to t? And what I want to do is I want to show that both of these are in NP. So we, either we can do the non-deterministic Turing machine approach and show that it runs in polynomial time non-deterministically, or we can use a certificate. And we can verify deterministically in polynomial time whether or not that um, uh, a, the given certificate is uh, shows that the input is in NP for clique and the same idea for subset sum. So let's do clique first. So for clique, it turns out that usually when you want to show that something is in NP, you want to do the certificate because it's just a lot easier to think about once you start doing these. So what would a certificate be? So if I gave you a graph and this integer k, what would be a proof or a certificate to show that that graph and that number k are in clique? In other words, the graph has that number clique, the, the k, the number that you're given. So the certificate here is going to be a set of k vertices. And another thing that we should check is that the certificate is polynomial in the size of the original input. Well, k is at most the number of vertices, so it can be at most linear in the number of vertices. So it's certainly a polynomial in size. And what would the algorithm do? The uh, maybe I'll write it as verifier. What would the verifier do? So what would it would have to do is you, you're you given the set of K vertices and you just have to check whether or not that K vertices really are a certificate for uh, that graph. And what you have to do is, is to check uh, all K choose two pairs uh, of vertices. Uh, to see if there's an edge there. So if there is an, if there is no edge for a particular pair, then we reject immediately. But if all k choose two have a have an edge present, and then so therefore we can know that that graph and that integer belong to clique, and that runs in polynomial time because this number, which is effectively dominating the runtime is at most n squared, because k is at most n, and n choose 2 is at most n squared. And n squared is definitely a polynomial in the size of the graph, which is n plus the number of edges, but that's less important. It's polynomial in the size of the graph. Okay, well what about for subset sum? What would the certificate be here? Well, very similarly, what could I give to you to determine whether or not there is a subset of these set of integers such that they all sum to t. And what you can think about is, well, give me the sum, uh, I mean, the subset of the, the set of integers, and then I can verify whether or not they add up to t. So the certificate here is the subset of s. And that is obviously polynomial in the size of the set of numbers because they, uh, the it's it's less than the input size, so it's at most linear in the input size, which is totally good. And then what would the algorithm or verifier do? Well, what they would have to do is just add up all the integers. So add. Maybe let's give the subset name. Let's call it a K, uh, not K. Let's call it a B. So I'll add all LMs in B, then check if that equals T. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. We have to be sure that this runs it in polynomial time. Well, 
adding two integers is linear in the size of the those integers and the size of the set of integers is it's clearly less than this in that total of all the integers in the thing so maybe you would have to show that it's at most n squared where n is the number of bits in the across all integers because we may potentially add all of the integers up but it's certainly at most let's say n squared you could probably do better than that but it's certainly at most n squared and that is obviously a polynomial in the size of the set of numbers here if it was just say t and no other stuff then we would have to worry about the representation of t whether it's in unary base one or base two and that's a big question when we deal with this type of thing. But since we have a gigantic set of integers right here compared to just one integer is not an issue here. So therefore, we have shown that clique and subset sum are both in NP. So have uh, put into the comments any questions you have about NP or clique or subset sum or showing any other problem as an NP. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.